I think it's really important that we, in the medical profession, in the public health profession, engage professionally and helpfully, supporting the people who are already in favour, respectfully trying to change the minds of those who are against, and above all, trying to help change the minds of those who are sitting on the fence and a bit unsure which way to go. And we must do that with our own MPs, uh, with Lords, with special interest groups, because I would... I think all of us would like this to be felt as this is what society has decided. Every political party has supported it. It's got support across the whole sweep. That is a much more stable situation, talking about the New Zealand thing, than a situation where we breathe a sigh of relief because something goes through with by one vote. And you're always left with the question of, you know, this is a bit of a close run thing. I think we need to make that case repeatedly and really uh, clearly to legislators, both in the both in the Commons and in the Lords, uh, because you know this will be a debate. And I think, as I said earlier, we should also use the fact this will be a debate to encourage current smokers to think again about their smoking and to take this opportunity to quit. Because it's not obvious that it's not it's not often we have smoking talked about as much as it will be as it goes through. And that's a huge opportunity for us in health to help people who've been wanting to quit for some time to make that final step, get themselves off a habit which they really don't want to be in, an addiction which they do not wish to be in the grips of.